Adding an accent wall to your home can be easy and fun simply by covering it with beautiful flooring. It's a great upgrade to your home and can add a touch of rustic charm to a single wall or to an entire room. Creating an eye-catching accent wall with flooring planks requires a few common tools and perhaps a friend to help. What makes it so easy is a special double-sided flooring tape available from your lumber liquidator store. We'll talk more about that in a minute. First, there are a few things to consider when selecting your accent wall. Make sure the wall you want to use stands straight up from the floor. Walls that are angled inward are not good for this kind of project. Make sure the wall surface is stable, dry, and clean. And look for signs of moisture or water damage. And I almost forgot, it's fine to create a wood wall on a painted wall, but don't try it over wallpaper or paneling. Choose a floor without a pre-attached pad on the back. This won't stick to the tape well. Second, if you choose a quick click floor, be sure the end joints are the simple overlapping style, not the interlocking kind. Finally, you may want to avoid extremely heavy flooring planks. We suggest a laminate flooring or a thinner tongue and groove flooring style. Ask a lumber liquidator's flooring expert before you select the final product for your accent wall. The first step is to measure the wall surface to determine how much flooring you'll need. To figure this out, multiply the length of the wall by the height. Then, subtract the measurements of any windows or doorways. To make sure there's enough, add 10% to the total. So, for example, if the accent wall measures 8 feet by 10 feet, that equals 80 square feet. Add the extra 10%, and the total needed for the project is 88 square feet. While the project can be completed in a weekend, preparation should begin a few days beforehand. You'll need that time for the flooring to get used to your room temperature and humidity. Just set the unopened boxes of wood in the middle of the room where they will be installed for two days. Let's use that extra time to make sure you have the right tools for the project. Here's what you won't need. Power drills, big hammers, sticky, messy glue guns, hard hat, or heavy tools with compressed air tanks. Tools you will need include a tape measure, a good sharp handsaw, or even better, a friend with a power miter saw, and a level. And most important, double-sided Exmoor wood flooring tape from Lumber Liquidators. Be sure to read the flooring instructions to get familiar with the steps. Take your time, and if there's anything you don't understand, Call a Lumber Liquidators flooring expert at 1-800-HARDWOOD. They'll help you out for sure. There's another important note to remember. If the instructions say to install the flooring from left to right, then you will install the planks on the wall in the opposite way from right to left, and vice versa. This is important, so be sure to get this part right. Get a straight 2x4 piece of wood and enough molding or trim to finish things off when you're done. Ready? Then call that friend. It'll make the project go more quickly and likely be more fun. Let's get the wall ready for the project. Check that the wall is flat by using the level. Gaps of 3 16 of an inch or less are okay. And as you go along, examine the new flooring planks for any damage. They should be completely flat and not have any chipped edges or scratched surfaces. Next, Remove the trim along the floor and from any windows or doors affected by the project. Place the wall tape vertically on the wall all the way from floor to ceiling at about 12 inch intervals. Leave about two inches up from the floor. Place the straight two by four along the bottom of the wall and use pieces of cardboard to be sure it's level. This is important. You'll be using the two by four to make sure the first row of planks is level so be sure to get this right. Now, identify the groove edge of your first plank. And with the groove edge facing up, place the plank upright on the two x four, all the way over to the starting edge, in this case, on the left. Leave a 1 4 inch gap between the first plank and the end wall. Okay, here we go. Now carefully slide the flooring plank against the wall and push it into the tape. Once the board is pressed against the wall, you will not be able to adjust its position or take it off and try it again. This tape is permanent. Do the same with the second board. 
being careful that the edges of the boards overlap appropriately. Keep going like this until you get close to the end of the row. Determine the length of the last plank. Mark the plank and be sure to leave a 1 4th inch gap at this end too. Then cut that last plank right on the mark you made and install it as the last plank in that row. Before you go any further, open up a box or two and spread out several planks on the floor. This will allow you to select from the boards and ensure a good variety of colors. Now, start the second row by using the piece you just cut from the end of the first row. This will ensure a good stagger in the rows. One more thing, be sure the cutoff piece is at least eight to 12 inches long. Continue with each successive row, including the cutoff piece from the previous row as the starter board. It's looking great already. When you get to the top row, you may need to cut the board lengthwise to make it fit. When you're done with the wall, cover the edge gaps with trim. The most common trim is called quarter round molding. Then clean the wall using a soft, damp cloth. Lightweight picture frames can be hung just like normal. Use a small nail. For heavier things like shelves, brackets, or televisions, screws should go through the laminate and into the studs behind the original wall. Now it's a great time to step back and enjoy the sweet new accent wall you just made. Remember that Lumber Liquidators has a wide variety of flooring that's great for this kind of accent wall. So go to Lumber Liquidators and talk with one of their flooring experts. Then get started on that project, maybe next weekend. <laughs>